So how are you feeling now? You have the award in your hand. You've had a few minutes to think about uh, and let it soak in. What are the first thoughts? Uh, quite relieved, actually. I was very anxious uh, as my, I knew my turn was coming and I uh, was wondering exactly what I'd say and whether I'd stumble. So I'm very relieved it's over. Uh, but I'm also extremely honoured. Um, I just noticed the cast of characters I followed and it's extremely humbling. In terms of your everyday achievements, um, sometimes people have said to me on this very branding board today that achievements sort of just happen. Uh, we're motivated by a passion and that's what keeps me going. What would you say about what your motivation is to aspire to do things that you're doing? I think the single most important motivation is the notion of justice. Uh, the justice that people who have disabilities and health problems uh, need to um, in terms of their right to care and the right to a life with dignity, uh, that kind of justice. And I think in particular the area that I work in is in the area of mental illness. I believe that this group of individuals has been systematically disadvantaged. So doing things that help address that, that correct that, is my driving motivation. Now, there's always work to be done. There's always things we can do to improve as, hum as humans to, for mankind and the planet. Um, now you have the spotlight on you for a moment where people can listen to what you're saying. What opportunity would you like to take to, to uh, say to other people, perhaps in your field or similar fields, that could sort of perhaps uh, learn from what we've done so far but pr progress forward? I have one very clear message for the general community that we live in, which is to treat mental health on par with physical health to bring mental health out of the shadows, out of the closet, to respect the fact that when people have mental illness they deserve the same dignity and the same rights as when they have physical health problems. Do you feel this is more uh, of an issue within the Asian community than others? Yeah, I think certainly within the Asian community, and indeed amongst many minority uh, communities, mental illness has been a little bit more hidden from view, a little bit more stigmatized in various ways. And so certainly I think more specific action needs to be taken in these communities. And lastly, I must know, where will you put this in your home? Well, I haven't thought of that yet, but I guess somewhere on the mantelpiece. <laughs>